Yes, good morning or evening or afternoon or night to everyone. Um, my name is Dirk Binder. I am the Articulation Officer for M2A. I'm going to show you a PowerPoint about how the ISP or International Studies Program at M2A works. Um, education in the United States, as you can see, uh, a bachelor's degree requires 120 credits. Usually this means students take 30 credits in one year and it takes them therefore four years to earn their Bachelor of Science or Education in the United States. General education requirements in the United States are 50 credits or 50 units. And these consist of US history, English writing, mathematics, science, humanities, social science, etc. Your major or your specialization, which consists of 40 to 70 units or credits, that could be engineering, biology, business, communication, or in your case, art and graphic design, and your electives, which will be zero to 30. As you can see, if electives is 30, then the major will be 40 and general education will be 50. That adds up to 120. If electives goes down, if major goes up, electives goes down. So these two adjust, but all students require 50 credits in general education. The United States is a competitive environment. That is, if you have a school which has 3,500 applicants to join first year in a four-year business program, then in a typical Eurasian university that includes Japan or Nepal or Myanmar or anywhere, uh, out of 3,500 applicants, 2,000 are accepted into first year. That same 2,000 goes through first, second, third, and fourth year to graduate. So this school has a total enrollment of 8,000 students, and there are 2,000 in each year. There is not much change in the number of students each year. A typical American university, on the other hand, which has 3,500 applications, they will admit 2,500 of them. In other words, it's easier to get in but that number reduces in second, third, and fourth year. So with the same total number of students, 8,000, you can see that the largest number is in the first and second year. What this means for you is that an American university is very competitive and you don't have to work so hard to get in, but you do have to work hard to get out. So again, in the US, it's easier to get in but it's harder to stay in and graduate. In the first two years, almost all American students will take a series of general education courses and we will do these same courses at M2A. For example, if you look at the list, you can see art history, biology, computers, communications, uh, geology and economics, composition and geography, mathematics and philosophy, uh, history and music, humanities and sociology. So please remember, no matter what your chosen field of study, then you still have to take all of these general education courses like any American student would do and like any major would do. Uh, courses like art history can be used for your art major. Um, the other courses would be used as general education or as electives. The question, how can the M2A ISP program help me? Remember that you can earn up to 70 general education and other transfer credits out of 120 total. These are uh, regular university classes. They are not second language or ESL or foundation courses. Also, because the American system is built like a pyramid, then please remember that uh, the first two years can be the most difficult. So we will help you get through these first two years and help you complete your general education requirements. Uh, third, it is much less expensive to take two years in Nepal prior to transferring to the United States. If you go to the US, for example, and study at California State University, it will cost you about $28,000 per year. That is about $8,500 for tuition and about $9,500 or $10,000 for food and meals. Please call M2A to talk to us about the tuition and fee costs at M2A. 
which will be significantly lower. Part of this is because you won't be living in the U.S., which is quite expensive. And fourth, we will provide orientation classes for you and help you with the actual transfer procedures. Uh, we'll help you choose the most suitable school for you. And the most suitable school depends on your major and your, uh, your preference for environment. Current partners include California State University or Fresno State, and also Salisbury University in Maryland and Sweetbriar College in Virginia. These last two have scholarships available for qualified students, and we will explain what that means to you later. We also have uh, a number of other uh, agreements in processing, the Cal State San Marcos, Sacramento, Monterey Bay and Northridge, also the State University of New York, University at Albany, and the College of Staten Island in New York. We are processing new initiatives for the Nepal ISP program. Um, we will add new transfer students as the number of students in the program increases. And as I mentioned, we are currently processing California State University, other campuses, and the City University of New York. And we may be able to offer a domestic degree uh, earned entirely in Nepal with Empire State College, part of the State University of New York. This is what the State University of New York or the University at Albany looks like. As you can see, it is a typical East Coast uh, traditional campus, and uh, there are about 20,000, 25,000 students enrolled. This is California State University Northridge. This agreement is in processing, but it is one of the largest campuses in the uh, CSU system. It's in Los Angeles, right next to the uh, Hollywood and uh, Burbank. This is Fresno State or California State University in Fresno. Their website is www.fresnostate.edu. We invite you to take a look at the website to find out if you think this school is the right place for you. Again, this school is on the West Coast. That means uh, nice weather all year round, quite hot summers, but very dry. This is Salisbury University in Maryland. Their website is www.salisbury.edu. Again, a East Coast university. Uh, there are about 20,000 students enrolled at this school. This is the City University of New York in Staten Island. This agreement is in processing, but it's part of the CUNY system. This is California State University in Sacramento. Again, uh, the capital of California, this agreement is in processing. And this is Sweetbriar College in Virginia. This is a women's university specializing in engineering for women, but they also have a very good art and uh, design program. So that is a short overview of the ISP program, and we hope that you will consider joining us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at M2A in Kathmandu, Nepal. Thank you very much.